Hi friends, this is George. This is the uh, fourth video, uh, final video, for the instruction on the Poems, Prayers, and Promises by John Ember. On this video, I'm going to show you a simplified picking pattern for the uh, choruses and verses. Um, I'll show you the slide that I use on the A7th um, in my uh, two videos. And I'll show you a variation uh, that John used a little bit in the, uh, in the choruses. Um, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, the simplified picking pattern um, uh, it basically when you play your um, G, sometimes D, E minor, F sharp minor, and D major seventh, um, you can play just strings six and four with your thumb. And in between those two, you can play the, um, the second and the first string. So if you're on your G, you can play it like this. E minor. D. D major 7. So anytime you use that 6th string as your bass, you can play that pattern. Now, when you play your A7 and B minor, since it uses the fifth string as the bass, you want to pick string 6, 2, 4, 1 in that sequence. So on A7, like this. B minor. So as an example, let's say I was playing the, uh, the chorus, I could play it like this. like that. So you can play that all the way through. You can also do that on the, uh, the uh, verses. Now you can change that any way you want, kind of like this, that little hammer on. That's how John did it on uh, Poems, Prayers, and Promises album. So that, that might help you uh, quite a bit with the simplified picking. Um, also, let me show you the, um, the slide technique that I use on the A7th. I use that during the chorus the second time through and then at the end of the song. Um, it goes, you play A7, it's a little hard to explain. You hit 5, 3, 4, and then slide up like this, and then slide, put the, um, take the index finger off, and slide those two up to the fifth. So it's 5, 3, 4, slide up to, um, the 2 and the 4 string up to the, um, fourth fret, like this, well, like this, and like that. Let me just do it, and I'll show you how it goes. One more time. You hit that fourth and the third, and when you hit that fourth string, hit the third string, like that. At the end of the song, you go into your outro. For, and the pause during the uh, chorus, the second time through, you can go. Talk of poems and prayers. And it goes on like that. So that might help you. Hope that helps. Uh, any questions on that, let me know.
Okay, the, uh, there's a couple different picking pattern arrangements that are used in the chorus, um, especially during the um, greatest hits uh, version. And that um, is on the G at A. Usually he played this. And sometimes, like middle, you'll notice on greatest hits, the uh, um, in the middle of the chorus, the second time through, he does this. Again. And that picking arrangement is 6, 3, 4, 1, 6, 2, 4, 3, 6, and 1 at the same time. 2, 4, 1, 6, 1, 4, 3. Now, also, there's a variation that I do, whether it matters or not. Um, sometimes I'll do that uh, the second time through the chorus. I'll vary it, and I'll go. That's 6, 3, 4, 1, 6, 2, 4, 3, 6, and 2 at the same time. 3, 4, 1, 6, 2, 4, 3. You can play around with that however you wish, but it's just some variations I thought uh, might be interesting. Um, anyway, I uh, hope this has helped this whole series, and uh, any questions at all, please contact me, uh, send me a message. I'll help you out in any way I can. Um, pre appreciate you uh, listening, um, and uh, happy picking. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.